you ever wish you could fly away like a bird, just get up and go someplace new? Maybe even a cross-country trip like this egret that we found, migrate from North Carolina all the way to New York in one night, and then up to Maine and down to Massachusetts. It's tracking tags like these GPS units that let us learn about these amazing trips, and I decided to travel myself to check out this bird and see what she was up to. I used the GPS data to find the general area, and then radio track to actually find her feeding in this marsh. So we tracked Mrs. Palma the egret to Gloucester, Massachusetts, where we found her here in this estuary. And right now, I'm downloading the data so that we can see all the details of where she's been. We get uh, text messages every day that show us the rough points where she's been, but this download will show us all the details. Dangers of uh, field work in Massachusetts sometimes. You gotta look out the trains. One of the surprises in the tracking data was to see that the bird kept returning to the same island in the bay. We thought this might mean that he was breeding there, but to know for sure, we'd have to go ourselves and look for nests. Back off. Thank you. That's really fun. Right yeah, there's some running up there. Yeah, they're nesting all in this stuff. So the GPS data from our North Carolina egret suggested that he was breeding here on this island in Massachusetts. And uh, but we didn't know for sure. It was just that he kept coming here every night and spending uh, entire days here. So today we've come here, we've paddled out to check out this island. And uh, just to the right of this lighthouse is a bunch of trees and thorns and brambles and thorny rose bushes and everything. We tromped in there and sure enough, there were egret nests, egret babies scrambling around. So uh, we've confirmed that this here 10-pound island is a breeding colony for great egrets. Cut!